Hey, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'll show you how I use my smart habit tracker. So as you can see here, we have multiple graphs. We have a little bunch of check boxes down here, and we also have a list of habits. So to use this habit tracker is just four simple steps. So first step one is to enter the year and month below. So over here, you can enter which year you want to put. So I'm going to put it as 2024 for now. And over here, you can select the month you want to choose. So for example, I can select December. Now moving on to step two. Step two, enter your daily habits for the month. So you can have up to 10 different habits. And when you add in a new habit, for example, go for a run, it will automatically show up the check boxes over here. But for now, I'm going to delete that by pressing backspace. And now we'll move on to step three, which is check off completed habits by clicking the checkbox. So let's say for today, which is December 25, it's automatically highlighted gray, as you can see here. Let's say I completed two hours of deep work. So I can come over here and I can click this checkbox. And when I click it, it will automatically turn green. It'll also automatically update all the progress bars and graphs. But I'll get into that a bit later. So just a pro tip, if you want to select multiple checkboxes at the same time, you can click and drag and then press spacebar to check them all off. So now moving on to step four, which is our last step, which is to view your progress. So in this dashboard or in this sheet, we have multiple progress bars, multiple graphs that you can look at to manage your progress. So over here, we have the task completed. And then over here, we have progress bars so that whenever you complete a specific habit for all the days in the month, it will automatically turn green. So that's just a little bit satisfying. So now moving up here to the total habits completed. So this basically measures how many tasks you've completed in the whole month. So if you click each time, you can see that it automatically updates. And likewise, the total habits uncompleted will go down whenever you click off a habit. So whenever you complete all the habits in the month, the total habits completed will be at its maximum and the total habits uncompleted will be at zero. So I'm just going to undo that for now. Next, we have habits completed per day. So basically, this just tracks if you completed all your tasks for today. So notice if we look at the 25th of this month, it's at 0%. So if we come down here and click it off, we can see that it slowly rises. Click one more time. It's going to go higher until when you click all the tasks for the day, it will reach 100%. Next, we have the habits completed in the month. So basically, this just shows the number of total habits you've completed over the month. And as you can see, when you complete new habits, it will automatically go up each and every day. So this is a really cool graph that I really like. And lastly, we have the monthly progress. So this just shows how much you've completed and how much you've yet to complete it. And likewise, whenever you complete all the tasks, it will be turned fully green. So I'm just going to undo that. So that is how you use the habit tracker. Now to go through the other sheets in this workbook. First off, we have an instructions sheet. So it has all the instructions that you can read through if you ever forget. And here's the important tip, which is to highlight multiple check boxes. You can do this by clicking and dragging and then pressing spacebar to check or uncheck. The video tutorial, which is this video, will be right over here. And if you have any questions about this template, feel free to contact me at my email at championchallenger at gmail.com. If there's any template you want me to create, if you have any feedback or any questions about Google Sheets in general, feel free to email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So next we have the example sheet, which we just went through. And lastly, we have the empty template. So whenever you want to create a new template for another month, you can right click and click on duplicate and then rename it to whatever year and month you have. For example, 2025 February. I'm going to delete this for now. So this is how the empty template looks like. So just some cool things about this template. If, for example, all these steps you don't need anymore, you can actually hide it by coming to the four here. You can right click and click on hide. You can also come down to 19 here, right click and click on hide row. And then now your template just looks a little bit cleaner. And if you ever need the instructions back, you can always click on the arrows here and they'll come back to you. I'm just going to hide it for now. So like I mentioned earlier, you can enter new habits and it'll automatically show the checkboxes. You can also delete them and they'll remove it. So also when no checkboxes are checked, the graphs will look empty like this. But as soon as you start entering your habits, the charts will automatically be filled up. And whenever you change the month to, for example, February, it'll automatically remove the day. So you don't have to worry about updating or removing or adding days. Whenever you select a different month, the dates will be updated and the checkboxes will automatically be shown or not shown. So you don't have to worry about all that. 
and this today's date automatically updates so today is the december 25th of 2024 so i'm just going to put this back to 2025 january and uncheck everything so that is how i use my smart habit tracker you can get this template down in the description below all i ask is that you give it a five star rating if you found it useful and helpful to you and if you have any other questions or any other templates you want me to do feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one